We're going to transition now to our next school, Pacific Ridge School. And I'm not sure who's kicking us off. Maybe Ms. Sterner, perhaps? I'll be kicking you off. Oh. So uh, yes, um, my name is Hans, Hans Richter. I'm a Dean of the 12th grade at Pacific Ridge School. I'll also be speaking on Nick's behalf um, because his teacher, uh, Ms. Woods, couldn't be present for this. But uh, so first I wanna thank you, Brett. I wanna thank the Carlsbad Cham Chamber of Commerce, the Carlsbad Charitable Foundation. I wanna congratulate all you other students. You're amazing, it's incredible. It just gives me hope, especially in these times. As one of the moms said, it's just been so terrible and so difficult. And, I also want to say how important this Rising Star Award is in that it happens during the year. I think too often we wait to the end of the year to celebrate such incredible talent. And it is really nice and I think really empowering for students who get recognized uh, for them to hear these words and, and to continue on. Um, I just want to say to Nick, I, I have a, a few little testimonies um, from some of his teachers. This comes from his environmental science teacher. She says, this comes as no surprise that Nick is receiving this award. He deserves to be recognized. Overall, he is an awesome student. His ability to critically analyze and write a well-developed argument is impressive. Likewise, his speaking skills are well skills are well refined, and he has the ability to invoke deeper thinking in his peers. Every single assignment he turns in is completed with the high level of standards he sets for himself. He doesn't cut corners on anything. I truly am impressed by his maturity and ability to self-advocate is wise beyond his years. Um, I prepared just a little statement. I was athletic director for many years at the school. I'm his personal advisor. So I really know Nick from an athletic point of view as well as uh, academic. In athletics, specifically the signature sports of indoor and beach volleyball, Nick embodies the four pillars that make great competitive athletes, hard work, discipline, strategy, and athleticism. Nick's athletic drive mirrors his academic drive. He is a true scholar athlete, and he always goes above and beyond the challenges at hand. In fact, Nick usually ups the challenges. He is a well-rounded, respected, and intense young man, and his impact and leadership on and off the court are palpable. And the final one, and, and this is just so interesting. So we had academics, athletics, and now his AP art and design teacher says, Nick is a deeply thoughtful young man who finds ways to connect his complex ideas through his creative work. He loves a challenge and has found that in becoming a student leader amongst both the Middle Eastern North African Affinity Group and the Student Equity Advisory. And so just as a parting piece in this initial uh, kickoff for Nick, I just wanna say that Nick, you truly inspire people around you. Um, we love how you just internalize challenges. And again, as I say, up those challenges. And we really see you as someone who is able to access flow in, in art, in athletics, in your relationships, in your help of others. And we are um, deeply thankful for you being at our school. Thank you. Um, well, thank you so much, Mr. Richter. So hi, uh, I'm Nicholas Simpson. And after an amazing five and a half years at Pacific Ridge, uh, I'm now a senior. And today I'm happy to have here with me my dad, uh, Ernie, who has guided me through everything life has done my way. And Mr. Richter, who has been my advisor this year and last, but has served as a mentor for many more. So um, during my time at Pacific Ridge, uh, I've always strived to um, leave my mark however possible, you know, finding usually pretty creative ways to serve the communities I care about and taking my school's um, global engagement philosophy to heart and just service in general. I've addressed issues on not only local, but global scales. So uh, like Mr. Richter said on campus, I serve, serve as the student equity advisory president where I work with other students, faculty, administrator to make uh, campus a more inclusive place for all. That's something I'm very passionate about. And so whether this takes form through um, editing the curriculum to uh, include more diverse perspectives or having the difficult uh, conversations with administrators about how certain um, disciplinary, you know, rules might be discriminatory to certain students, um, making my impact through making campuses more diverse, more inclusive place is something I'm very passionate about. And um, just from there, uh, one another example of something I'm doing is I've, I've noticed a lot of it just coming from to be honest, you know, pretty white, pretty wealthy institution, a lot of the challenge is just visibility. So um, whether that's through founding a first generation of college students group that um, or, you know, setting up indigenous history month displays, 
or planning the first ever Persian New Year at school, um, I found that these events, these groups have not only helped us within the group kind of bond over a shared experience, over our shared identities, but it's helped educate the broader community on stuff that just simply, you know, isn't taught in the classroom. So through C, um, I've had a lot of opportunities to kind of, um, sorry, C is Student Equity Advisor, like the acronym. But yeah, um, through that, I've had a lot of opportunities to plan events on super large scale, stuff that I never really thought would be possible, like presenting to the entirety of the faculty on the importance of microaggressions in the classroom and how those can impact people. And um, leading the faculty through kind of some of the same um, activities we've done at various conferences. And the feedback has been amazing. You know, teachers telling me, you know, we've had relationships for decades and I've never learned this stuff about, you know, my coworker or, or and just seeing that happen uh, has been super empowering. So yeah, um, whether that's, you know, the curriculum, like helping design the first ever ethnic studies course or through just those personal interactions with students like me and kind of always trying to uh, help underclassmen in the same ways I was helped so much by the upperclassmen when I was younger or other teachers. It's just been an amazing experience at Pacific Ridge on the local. And then, you know, kind of branching out from that, a lot of the service opportunities that uh, Pacific Ridge has inspired, one of them being Vision, which is a group I founded with a few friends. Um, and with the help of my school community, um, teachers, students, just all kind of banding together, we've provided um, restorative vision procedures to over 50 patients, underserved patients in India. So that was something that was very um, inspiring. And then La Paloma Project, helping migrants at the border. It first started with like art supplies and stuff like that, but with COVID that rapidly evolved into providing thousands of units of personal protective equipment, personal hygiene items, uh, bottles of hand sanitizer. So yeah, um, if there's any lesson I've taken away from kind of all that service and trying to better my community, it's that it's easy to kind of try to leave change to people who are more experienced than you, older than you, because that's always going to be the case, um, people that are smarter than you. But um, I've kind of realized that uh, heart and just passion and grit and determination that can make up for any of your deficiencies. And, you know, one of my dad's favorite quotes is, if it's to be, it's up to me. And that's something I've really taken to heart this year. Yeah. So um, education wise, like my dream school is Yale. The decision actually comes out tomorrow. So I'm super nervous about that, fingers crossed. But um, I know there's plenty of colleges out there for me to discover. Uh, I would like to study economics alongside a comparative race major um, to continue with a career in either civil rights or environmental law or, you know, go into business and try to make that a more, you know, equitable, inclusive space, striving towards social change instead of just purely profit. So yeah, I'd love to thank the Chamber of Commerce, all the sponsors for making this awesome distinction possible. And I really appreciate the recognition and I'm eager to continue with the projects I'm passionate about. Thank you so much. Well said. Nick, so I'm just going to speak on your teacher's behalf, and I'm speaking now for uh, Susan Woods, who's our Director of Community Inclusion, and uh, here's what she has to say about you, Nick. Nicholas Simpson is one of the most outstanding young men I've ever enjoyed teaching and knowing. He's a strong sense of self, self and deep compassion for others. He has proven himself to be humble, confident, and capable in all his endeavors. Nick is an all around stellar student with a passion for learning and exceptional empathy and compassion. As a teacher, I have been impressed with Nicholas's desire to be to deeply understand content. He is motivated and driven by his curiosity and desire to learn. While grades are often the currency students work for, Nicholas works beyond achieving excellent grades. He truly finds an intrinsic reward in learning. He holds himself to a high academic standard He's also empathetic in his approach to learning and classroom discussion. Nicholas has a unique ability to assert his perspective while, re while respecting the perspectives of his peers. Moreover, Nicholas extends his desire to learn beyond the traditional classroom setting, as we've all heard just now. So that was from Ms. Woods, Nick. She uh, laments not being able to be here, but congratulations to you. Hi, Ernie. Okay, you're Ernie. Yeah, that's a very good job. Uh, thank you, Hans. Um, I'd also like to thank the uh, Chamber of Commerce, Carlsbad Chamber of Commerce, for the nice thing they do for these deserving kids and, and the community in general. So, so thank you. But I was asked if I'm, uh, how proud I am of Nick. And, and uh, well, it goes without saying I'm very proud of him, but I'm mostly in awe of Nick and what he's done over the years. I'm more uh, amazed, mostly. 
because when he was a very small child, he did a lot of things that shouldn't have, shouldn't have been able to happen with a small child. And he continued that trend. And he was so uh, uh, omnitalented and, and uh, interested in so many things and uh, a great, great kid. I knew that I uh, was gonna have an enjoyable but very uh, uh, challenging ride myself. So here we are. But um, my main goal for Nick is that he gets to experience all of the things that are, are possible, manageable and possible. But at the same time, uh, respect the, the things and the people around him. So when he makes a decision, it'll be based on reality, not, not how things like to be or seem to be, but where they really are. And he's done that. And I just try to stay out of his way a little bit these days. But he, he, incredi he has incredible energy. We, I think we know that. But he, has, he balances his personality in a way that is appropriate for right now. Right now, uh, how these kids are doing it, all of them, how they're hanging in there with the uh, almost isolation and then being expected to go out into the world next year. They'll all do it because they can look around and see others are doing it. And I hope that gives up strength because I try to tell Nick that that's what will happen. But to, to stay engaged and to care about uh, uh, the things that we've all we've discussed here about uh, Nick and all these other kids too, but to be consistent, I like that about Nick and his, his, his patterns are, uh, are consistent and, and mostly he's articulate. And uh, I hear him talk to adults and do things like today. I wish he talked to me like that, but, <laughs> but, but I'm the, you know, you're the sounding board here at home and we all, I guess we all know that, but I'm delighted to uh, see him get this recognition. He's had his share, but hopefully he's earned it. And his athleticism, he gave up the basketball to, to get more study time in and, and uh, the, the COVID took care of that for him anyway. But, but to see him do that, and he, he really loved basketball, but to give that up in favor of his education and all of these diverse things he's trying to understand, uh, I was very proud of that as well. And finally, uh, he seems to have this unique talent for tying things together that aren't necessarily related at all. And uh, in trying to make the puzzle make sense, and and I, I think he's doing that better than any maybe most adults I've ever witnessed in my life. So, so we'll see how he does tomorrow, or excuse me, Thursday, and we'll see where it goes from there. But I know he's going to make a difference in the world because he cares so darn much about uh, you know outcomes and fairness and so on. So with that, uh, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks, Hans. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mr. Simpson. Thank you, Mr. Richter and, and all the team at Pacific Ridge. Congratulations, Nick. What I'd like to do um, now is to kind of go back and share uh, a little bit of recap of what I heard um, either shared about you individual students or sometimes some of the things that you shared about yourself um, as, as way of a wrap up. Okay, Nick. Find you. Where are you, Nick? There you are. <clears throat> um, I love what was said about you. Um, Mr. Richter was sharing that multiple teachers, and then I think even came out with your parents that you are a, a deep thinker. And I appreciate that because you know all your your passion through the student equity program um, and. Um, your willingness to um, respect the perspectives of others that was said about you. That is so necessary in today's you know, world and society. And one of the things that we can see on a national scale is how much we struggle to take other people's perspectives. And um, it was said that you're very articulate, which was very obvious. You're, you're humble. Um, which is another, you know, just admirable quality and, and is so important in taking other people's perspective. That humility helps us to do that. Um, and then um, I just love how passionate you were with the, the, the student equity program because you want to, you know, help everybody feel included. And your advocacy for others was just super commendable. I'm so blown away that your comfort and your ability to do presentations for the faculty themselves, you know, being able to step up and um, feel comfortable sharing and teaching, you know, your teachers. And um, that's just, that's amazing. Um, I really appreciate that. And um, all of those qualities are going to help you significantly 
as you continue on in life. And there's, those are all things that our world needs. So thank you so much for sharing today. Mm -hmm.